So here we go, let's give it a try. So we say uh, XM list, and we don't have anything running. We say XM uh, create, give us a console, uh, VM1, and we get a big fat failure. Uh, so my device, my uh, one of my virtual interfaces can't be found, and as it so happens, um, there's this file in this directory here, we're in et cetera, Zen. Uh, if we go to Zend uh, config um, and we look for network script, uh, we have one little problem because I still have the old one there. I need to make this a uh, multi bridge, which was the name of the file that I constructed. Um, instead of using its canned thing. So let's, um, we'll just stop, uh, stop and start this again. Um, the Zendy background, back end. Um, so we'll stop it. I could have just said restart. And we'll start it again. This takes a second because it's actually going to uh, rip away internet connectivity for me. My SSH session halts for a second. So now we're back. Uh, Let's take a look at the addresses on the box. And this is good. This is what we were looking for, ZenBR1, ZenBridge1. Uh, we should have a ZenBR0 somewhere. Let's see. Perhaps it. Perhaps it'll make it. So, uh, xm create-c m1. And there's the boot. And we have a file system problem. So, uh, We'll have to take a look at that. Okay, so we don't have access to uh, dev um, uh, mapper VG0 LV0. I actually have that wrong. Okay, so we ran into a little problem here. We have to figure out why the system is trying to mount the wrong file system. And as it turns out, I, I'm an idiot. I didn't take a look at the uh, uh, FS tab. So let's go, uh, here we are, let's go back uh, to where our, our home directory we have this uh, 1, 2, and 3 uh, directory. Let's mount dev mapper vg0. Actually, now this of course would work, but I, I, uh, you'll see me interchange that and vg0, lv0, uh, lv1 rather. They're, they're essentially the same thing. Uh, this is a link to the mapper. Um, so both will work. They're the same thing. So let's go into one. So now we're in this uh, file system of this first virtual machine we're going to uh, try to boot. In etc., let's edit um, FS tab. And you can see this is where I'm an idiot. I basically just copied my root file system over. Uh, so this is, this is not going to do it for us. Uh, because we're, this is a virtual instance. We don't have access. We don't have direct access to the disk. So uh, all we need to do is put what the... Uh, uh, device that Zen makes available to us. And that in this case uh, is called uh, XVDA1. So, and it's the XT4, that's cool. Uh, we don't need to boot this, so we'll blow that guy away. Um, I generally don't use swap uh, because RAM is cheap these days, um, but there we are. So. Basically, this is the only one you need. Uh, mounting, mounting our root file system, ext4 on uh, xvda1. So I'll save that. Uh, I'll go back, and we will unmount one. And let's try this again. So let's take a look at what we have. We don't have anything. Let's say xm create, give us a console, vm1, go. And here's our box booting up. Looks like we have things in order. And we have some IP. And we should be good. So let's try going to this box. 8.14.33.56. Um, uh, let's go on 4.20. And it looks like we're good. Um, and there we go. Working. Zen virtual machine without a base disk uh, that we boot from. That's about it for this version of the Well-Tempered Hacker. Uh, I, the, keep the comments coming, they're pretty good. I know I say ah uh, and um a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to not to, but it's, it's tough. Um, so 
Uh, send in your suggestions. Let me know what uh, what you think. What else you like covered? I'm just going to basically continue covering the things that I find uh, that I run across day to day and that are interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.